Papua New Guinea is a highly potential tourism destination with many products to offer to both local and international tourists. However, the local tourism industry hasn't been fully exploited because of substantial high tax rate charges on domestic airfares. Mary O'Reary, a Popondeta local, told MTV News, high tax rates have affected the growth and promotion of local tourism in Papua New Guinea. And for this reason, most Papua New Guineans cannot fly to other provinces. O'Reary has called on the national government to reduce airfare taxes. My concern is that uh, there is more companies taking, coming into the province, but more taxes have been paid to the national government. There's little been done into the province. This same issue was also raised in Wewek by a local villager, Maggie Boyd. People like him, the right price, the right price, all can mark him how long or distance or value he fly, the Wewek to Medang by the kind of them. You can have a legal price number, and people to all legal people in the route, that's all money, that's all working, and people have a stop or them. A very vocal MP and Northern Province Governor Gary Jufa is pleading on behalf of citizens of this nation, addressing the public during PNG Air's maiden flight to Giro Airport, Papandetta yesterday, said high tax charges are impediments to the tourism industry and development. If they can address this, if they can reduce those taxes, it will significantly improve transportation for our ordinary people. And that is one of the greatest impediments to tourism, the greatest impediments to development are those substantial taxes that discourage air travel. Governor Jufa has assured the people of Papua New Guinea that he will fight for this in Parliament. So I want to assure you that in Parliament I will be doing my best to, to try to encourage the government to reduce those taxes so that travel can be easily accessible by all. Meanwhile, the report Papua New Guinea 2015 by Oxford Business Group states while PNG has plenty to offer business and adventure tourists, a major drawback is high cost of domestic airfares and inland travel requires professional logistics coordination. Governor Jupa's concern was on high tax rate that is being charged on airfares for passengers traveling in and around Papua New Guinea. He says he will task the national government to ensure that this tax is reduced and is also to promote the tourism industry. At Giro Airport in Northern Province, Fabian Hakelitz, National MTV News.